Mark Barlow with the Mark Out. Just wanted to talk quickly about WWE Gur, the greatest Royal Rumble. Uh, you know, it's kind of a disappointing, honestly. The greatest, most expensive live show ever. You know, all the fireworks. That was great. You know, uh, they got the, the Woken Brothers. What do they call themselves? The, uh, the Leader of Worlds winning the, the Raw Tag Team Champions. But everybody else, you know, retained their title. You know, <laughs> no, nobody changed it. You would have thought they would have at least changed one title. Even for, you know, just from there to Raw or SmackDown, you know. But no. You know, and then, of course, you had John Cena who won the first match. And then you had Rusev and Aiden English losing to The Undertaker. <laughs> I didn't see the Aiden English part, you know, like... I figured Rusev probably was going to lose, but, you know, I was like, mm -hmm, who knows? Um, and then, of course, Braun Strowman winning. But I felt really bad for Daniel Bryan. Like, if you saw his chest, oh my god, you know? That guy definitely, you know, deserves, you know, the Iron Man, because he lasted so long. What did he last from number one to number 47 or something like that? Like, way in there. Uh, I think it was, it was an hour and 16 minutes. That's a long ass time. Um, but I don't know if they actually are going to put that in the books or not. I think so. But it's not the Royal Rumble, it's just a Royal Rumble. It's the greatest Royal Rumble. Uh, and of course, all over. You're going to see Titus World Slide because. <laughs> Of Titus's botch, where he tripped and went completely underneath the ring. Oh my god. <laughs> That's gonna be like... Then they're probably gonna show this on Raw. You know? Uh, so, like, not much to take away from it. Like, um, it was five hours. You know? And, uh, I got off work. Friday morning. Stayed up. Watched it. I fell asleep during the Intercontinental match. I had to go back and watch that, actually. But not because it was boring. No, no, no. Most of it was pretty great. You know, like, I can't really think of anything that was kind of boring. Maybe the first match, but that's only because, you know, we've seen them wrestle so much John Cena and Triple H. Like, not each other, but it's just, like, kind of hit the big spots for each of them, you know. Um... Uh, so yeah, what do you guys think of the greatest Royal Rumble? <laughs> Honestly, it was like, and I, I was so hyped for it too, you know? It was, I just don't get hype. I stay hyped, but not really, I really don't. <laughs> uh, anyway, so WrestleMania beat me to the punch. Also, I'm reporting this, but the reason why Sami Zayn was not actually in the greatest Royal Rumble is because he is actually of Syrian Muslim descent, not from Saudi Arabia. I thought, like, it was a collective unit throughout all the Middle East that he would, you know, go between all the territories and wrestle. No, it was mainly just Syria. And the reason why, realistically, I, they even brought in, um, freaking Davari. And he, him and his brother were waving the Iranian flag, and then everybody's like, bah, bah. and then it was like, just, you know, he's a bad guy, boo him. Boo him because they don't like Iran. But, um, anyway, so, what was I getting at from about Sami Zayn? Um, oh, because of Syria and Saudi Arabia had cut ties in 2012, you know, it's like, I don't know why all these Middle Eastern countries hate each other, man. Can we just, can we just like hold hands, man, and like pass the duty upon the left hand side, man? Whatever. I don't know. But uh, hmm. I really don't want to see more of these. Like if, because like what it was supposed to be, also if you really knew, it was just supposed to be a live event, you know, just like a house show. And then it just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and then finally it's big. So, 
you know, like, unless in the future they book some way better decisions, like title changes, actually incorporate storylines, I mean, like, I guess they had a very minuscule storyline thing going, because realistically, most wrestlers are looking to backlash, because I think, like, a lot more things are probably going to happen at Backlash in a week. It's actually a week from, um, today, today's Sunday. You know, sorry for the late upload on the video, but I've been, I had to work last night, and Actually, I watched the whole thing, except for the Intercontinental match, came home after getting stuff from the store, uh, watched Impact, and <laughs> I fell asleep until about 6 o'clock in the morning. I guess I should have uploaded this yesterday, yesterday morning. And then, um, and then Impact, I was thinking about this, Eli Drake and Scott Steiner, Tag Team Champions. Weird. And then, of course... I, I don't think I mentioned it, but um, Pentagon Jr. was the wrestler um, that I was supposed to talk about. I like her. Um, Pentagon Jr. was the one to take the world title off of Austin Aries, you know. So Austin Aries still has one title. And of course, Matt Seidel is still the X Division champion. Um, you know. It was really weird. The women's stuff that's going on. An impact also is kind of weird. So, um, Allie and Rosemary, Bunny and Demon, are like friends. And then you got Sue Young, and I guess um, uh, Taya, Taya Valkyrie's gonna like tag team with her. I guess. I don't know, it's weird. It's a weird crazy stuff going on in Impact Land. Anyway, so what did you guys think of the Greatest Royal Rumble? Not really. It really wasn't the Greatest Royal It was the longest. This is the one for the longest Royal Rumble. There you go. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll see you guys next time. If there's any um, content you want me to um, watch and review, you know, leave, leave it down in the comment section below. I'm always looking for more feedback. But, um, until next time, take care, guys.